what is up everybody so like I said this video will be a thing I have everything almost set up the only thing that I need need to do is put water in heal and put water heal and I'm gonna give them um, sugar water in advance which is okay the lid is very difficult to uh, open with one hand there we go so I will give these guys um, some sugar water uh, dyed blue of course uh, as I'm basically moving them in so once I get everything 100% set up here right now I will be cutting this video to fill these up and giving them a sugar bottle in there I will grab one more of those things um, and then I will come back and you can see how I move my honey bunny eggs and how you guys will be moving them once you get them. So I'll see you guys in how well for you guys it will be for like it, it, it will literally be like a millisecond for you guys. For me it will be a, a few. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back. So everything is filled up with uh, water, as you can see. It has a line of water. Maybe if I move this, you guys can see. Yeah, yeah see? Water. And then, time for the fun part. I'm just gonna like, put that there. That's very bright. Uh, let me turn that down. So that's, there we go, that's the lighting that I will personally have, um, yeah, so, to show you guys on how to do this, um, it's going to be a tiny bit tricky, but first, I will literally just put this here, you can see my hand, I gotta break the seal of the glass because over time it becomes a seal. I don't know what else to call it. So just gotta work my way into you. There we go. And then all that you gotta do, you just slide this off, put the glass down into the uh, Hold below, right down there, and then you got that. Also, what I should have done was I should have taken off this glass first. But that should be all be fine. And now my flashlight's absolutely covered in them. <laughs> And hold on, I'm trying to retrieve the magnets to the glass piece. Uh, so, uh, that flashlight is not mine no more. So, yeah, this colony is absolutely huge. Uh, where are my tweezers? There they are. So, with the repletes, you look to just take one and toss it over. And kind of just guide it in, make sure it walks in. Just got to make sure it doesn't fall out. Now, you will drop some that's it's not really going to be possible to not drop one. Just like that, I just dropped one. And you kind of just want to 
going to be hard to show you guys everything. Yes, this is how you will uh, be moving your honeypot ant colonies. And there is a few on my hand. There you go, fell off. Let me show you the chaos down, down here. And yeah, so you just pluck one by one. And so I'll basically be doing this to like 200 something ants. <laughs> um, best to use uh, featherweight uh, tweezers or the tweezers that I'm using. Uh, either one work, so I'm going to put you guys down really quick and then I'm going to kind of just slap these guys off of my hand. And I will be cutting this here. Uh, Mainly to just show you guys on this was just to show you guys. I will cut back and film other pieces of it and yada yada yada. So, yeah. what is up, everybody? Uh, it's me again. It, <laughs> uh, it's what been uh, three, four hours? I don't know. Somewhere around there. Still got some things to, to go. This is what it's looking like. Right now, this is what it's looking like. Oh. And the chaos of th ones that I've dropped. I've dropped about 15 out of, I don't know, like 300 ants, which is not too bad. I'm... Um, tired if you guys can't tell <laughs> it's been like two hours or two three it's like three or four um yeah also just to show you guys right now i guess um how you suck up the uh um how you collect the boot is by sucking it up um yeah just want to suck up all the food and eggs and lava and pupa and stuff with an aspirator and then while you are uh, looking while you're looking no, when while you are uh, moving the re repletes you always want to be looking for the uh, queen there she is. That big worker. Well, big worker. Big, big ant. It's bigger than all the others there. There's the queen. She's the biggest one in the colony. So, I will continue doing this. And I'll give you guys an update. I believe after when I finish removing the repletes. Yeah. What's up? I'm back. Okay, so I'm technically done. There are some small ones, but I can just toss them through the uh, hole here from the ground. So, what you guys are going to watch me do now is actually dump in the queen. And there's a worker on me. Multiple workers on me. Because I had to... What goes with with the queen? Uh, now I will grab my paintbrush. Where's my paintbrush? <laughs> Where's my paintbrush? There was my paintbrush. I found my paintbrush. Okay, well I was gonna toss one, but it looks like she already made her way in. Yep, she already made her made her way in. Look at that. The glass is nice and see through too. Uh, what I will also be doing is putting uh, all the uh, this yeah boot in wards so I'm gonna put you guys right there I will just do that and I kind of plugged up the hole there so let's just do that. 
and then show them that there's their their boot is up here, so then they can take it back down. So, but now what I need to do is move this nest. So, very carefully, I'm gonna pick up the nest. I know that you guys are not being able to see this. That's because I need both hands to pick this thing up. As I put a pen into my face, in the face, in, into my throat, with, with my knee. So, this is here now. I'm just hoping that there's no vocals. I'm not seeing any. Um, then I gotta figure out this situation. Uh, I, of course, know what to do. Just gonna take a few. So again, I'm gonna cut right here. And this nest will be removed from this con container. So will these two, hopefully. And I will see you guys in just a bit. bit. Okay, so I've gotten everything removed. There's still, still some ants here that I'm slowly picking off. Um, got that all, got those two things out, got Vaseline on me, uh, so now it's time to take this thing as gently as I can, because this thing easily has probably a good thousand or so ants in it, and a lot of people don't like this part, uh, a lot of people are against this part, actually, um, and it is shaking them to be here and then dumping them in. It's the only way how to do it, so if you don't like it, uh, just to let you know, it literally causes them no harm. A few might, might die, but the colony is going to be just fine. So... Uh, and I will need two hands for this giant thing, so I will be cutting again. I know, lots of cuts this video, but this is literally documentary, um, uh, what, five hours? This is literally, yeah, yeah, like, it's probably been a good three, well, no. Because last time I pulled out the camera, I said three. And now, okay, so yeah, it's been like five and a half hours. So, but yeah, so time to get this. I'll get these guys inside here, and I will come back once they're all in. So, see ya. Here we are. The final. The. <laughs> <laughs> my brain's dead, man. My goodness. Um, got everything cleaned up. Everything's cleaned up and stuff. Um, they are right now just like this. It will take them a few hours to start to move. To like start moving again. And actually moving stuff down, down, downwards. So, that update will be on my Instagram once they're like all down and done. So, go follow my inst Instagram at uh, Antslag Flagstaff, all lo lowercase, uh, all one word. And that is how you move a honeypot ant colony. <laughs> um. This is a huge colony, as you can see. Um, they will be three years old, three years old uh, in a few months. Uh, July something is when they will be three. I don't know what day on July because I don't remember. But a day in July they will be three years old. And, yeah, so, thank you for watching, I am Ant Slagstaff, 
and I'll see you all on the next video. See, see you guys.